Well, let's back our tinkers. Here we are again, uh, the second day on this uh, VE SV6 we've been working on. We started yesterday stripping it down and cleaning it and found that it was fairly, fairly sludged up. Um, lack of servicing. Um, we've cleaned a lot of it up. Hocker actually give it a good backy, which you will see in another video. Um, but yeah, so it's slowly getting there, slowly coming up a little bit cleaner than normal. We've actually had to forcibly take the sump off it because it was that bad, just to make sure the pickup is safe and uh, not blocked, and can, which can cause de metal damage to the, uh, to the engine. Um, so just to give you an idea, we've got the sump here draining. How bad it is. And we've actually yeah, taken plates out of it already to start cleaning it, but there, yeah, look at that. Already scraped it out a bit. And it's been scraped a bit, but yeah, pretty bad. But yeah, look at it, it's just all over there. It's not pretty, but moving forwards, we've uh, got our kit out. Our genuine GM timing chain kit. Um, now, this is a, what do we say, $700 kit? Yeah, about 780 That's 780 for a kit. Um, and yeah, it absolutely comes with everything except for the Commodore itself. Um, uh, there's like four, four lots of rocket cover gaskets to suit VE, uh, VZ as well. Um, two lots of plenum gaskets, uh, front seals, water jacket seals, back of the water pump seal, and obviously the main thing, there are chains. Um, and it's pretty good, then it's not a bad quality kit. Um, tensioners, guides, these are plastic. Well, the mace kit we had the other day were plastic, but they're like a Chinese plastic. Uh, these are obviously, I think, made in Mexico or Taiwan, and they're a lot more, you can feel the difference in them, they're a bit strong. Not yet used them, I've always used the metal ones. Um, I really, I don't know, we're gonna see how this one goes. Um, and yeah, we're hoping it's gonna be all right. Well, fingers crossed. Um, but being a genuine kit, it's um obviously it's, you know it's all covered by warranty what did it say 12 months or something yeah. 12 months twenty thousand or something uh new oil pump that's a ysk oil pump what are they about 100 bucks uh, 110. Yeah, but that, that was through mace they're a pretty good oil pump and they're about 120 bucks just to be on the safe side um and that's shipped but takes about what seven days yeah yeah about seven days for shipping Depending where in Australia you are. Depending on where you are. We're in the west, so it's yeah, everything's wait a while. Um, or hurry up and wait. Uh, now, here's another thing that'll spin you out when you get your kit, is it comes with a bolt load of K-frame bolts. And some bolts we don't even know what they're for. <laughs> um, comes with nuts. That'd be engine mount nuts, I'd say. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that that the engine mount you know, nut. Um, yeah, like, you know, they're pretty serious bit of bolts. They're not... Oh yeah, harmonic balance and bolt comes with one of them, new one of them. Um, yeah, everything in this kit is, it's a pretty good kit for, its, uh, for, for what it is, for its price. Considering you can spend uh, $500 on an aftermarket kit and primarily all it comes is change, tensioners, guides, um, no gaskets, and you know, it's a your top end gasket kit you've got to buy separate, which is, yeah, Planum's I actually got a kit here. I've got a kit here and I think they are at about 70 bucks um, extra on top of your $400 kit you bought from eBay or whatever. Um, personally, I'm going to stick to buying the GM kits because of what they do come with um, and you'll end up with a lot of spare parts if there's stuff you don't need you can use on another vehicle. But yeah, overall I, I don't mind the kit, I reckon it's going to be pretty good. So we're going to start mounting up, we'll start doing those chains I think, yep. start, start on our left hand side and start putting it back together I think and um, yeah I'll do one of just the chains assembled and then show you the timing marks because this job's taking a little bit longer than anticipated so we've got to keep going on it um, but yeah I think um, we'll do a video just after we've got all the chains on and the timing marks are all found and I can show you that and then that'll be about it for them and then the assembly part alright guys cheers guys